It's been very, very exciting to see the momentum build in our research and the stature that we've built in the scientific community for our work. And our scientists are full of ideas for directions we could take in the future. When Silent Spring Institute was founded, the idea that estrogen mimics in everyday products could be contributing to breast cancer was very new. We knew we had a complex task ahead of us, but now we do have some studies that have made that link for DDT, for air pollutants, for PCBs. So we are seeing incrementally the evidence is building up. We actually saw a decrease in breast cancer incidence when women went off hormone replacement therapy, HRT. And that, to me, is a very promising indicator. If we can see a drop in breast cancer incidence when women go off a pharmaceutical hormone, what would happen if we really removed a lot of these synthetic hormone mimics from the environment? Breast cancer is a hormonal cancer. We know that the things that affect breast cancer are likely to affect the other hormonal cancers, prostate, testicular, ovarian. But there are even broader connections. One of the areas where there's the strongest evidence is from compounds that are in air pollution. We suspect they affect breast cancer, but they also affect respiratory diseases and asthma, heart disease. So we need to look systematically at pollution that's coming from everyday activities and start to make those sensible choices to bring exposures down. You shouldn't have to go to the store with a magnifying glass and read the label and know all the names of phthalates and dibutyl this and that. You should be able to go to the store and know that that product has been assessed for whether it's going to affect health. This is the beginning of a green chemistry movement that's going to be a very important part of the green future that we're all trying to build so that we start thinking about what products are made of and putting chemicals into products that we know are safe. And that is going to require systematic change. We've actually seen that the business community can be responsive when consumers say, I don't want to buy a baby bottle that has an estrogen mimic in it they figure out a way to make a new kind of baby bottle. At the same time, the public is going to need to work through our elected officials to set standards and say it's not entirely up to the business community. We as a community are going to set standards for what's okay to do. Silent Spring Institute has been uh, one of the important drivers of green chemistry because we've been a leader in identifying exposures that are coming from everyday products that we need to change. We're now looking forward to a research agenda where we become solution finders and start actually testing whether exposure reduction strategies are working and which ones are working best. We've seen some great successes with prevention. When we took lead out of gasoline, the levels of lead in kids went down. When we eliminated smoking in public places, exposure to secondhand smoke went down and heart attacks went down. So I'm really very optimistic that if we take on prevention, we will see change.